reason, the reason, the reason, the reason we can only live for God so much is because we got too much of us inside of us. And so when God is trying to fill us, we already full. We too full of pride. We too full of hatred. We too full of judgment. We too full of ourselves. And so when God is trying to fill us, he can't fill us because we won't get out of the way. And I believe that in this season, if God is going to take us to this next level, if God is going to fill us with his spirit, we, we are expecting God to fill with the Holy Ghost. But one thing they told me, they said, keep going back to the altar. Keep giving God a yes. And if you keep giving God a yes, they said, look, you got to let it go. You got to let it go. You have somebody on one side. Somebody on the other side said, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Hold on to him. Let it go. Hold on to him. Let it go. I thought I had They said right there. They said, hold on to God, but you got to let it go. The prodigal, the, the word said, when he has spent everything, and somebody say everything. Everything. Everything, everything. For so many years, we've said that the prodigal, y'all sit down, y'all sit down, y'all making me nervous. Y'all making me nervous. Y'all making me nervous. I'm going to be done soon. I'm going to be done soon. He said, when he has spent everything, we talked about how wasteful he was. But I would argue that if, if he had not spent everything, he could not have received everything. If he had never spent out what he had, he couldn't get what the Father had for him. I came to let somebody know that you may be going through seasons right now where you feel like everything is dry. You may be going through seasons right now where it seems like everything else is falling apart. And you've been trying to hold it together. You've been trying to grab it and find Look at somebody said, let, let it go. There's some relationships God want you to let go. There are some habits God want you to let go. There are some routines God want you to let go. Look at somebody said, let, let it go. Cause you've been trying to hold it together. There are some relationships God want you to let go. If you're going to be all that God has called you to be, you have to lose you. Let somebody say, let it go. Let it go. So sometimes finding God will cause you to lose you. Y'all ain't catch what I said. Sometimes finding God will cause you to lose you. It's easy for us to construct our identities based on a title, based on our associations and organizations and professions. But sometimes God has to let you lose it all to find it all. I thought I have a witness in here. I thought I have a witness in here. It said that it was at the moments where I thought I was losing it all. When I was at rock bottom, that's when I found God. Woo. That's when I found God. So not only did he spend all that he had? Yes. Look at somebody said there was a famine in the land. Yes. We thank God and honor superintendent being with us this afternoon. Yes. Sometimes God has to let you lose it all yes. in order for you to find it all. And not only But there was a famine in the land. Look, somebody said there was a famine in the land. There was a famine in the land, and also there was a famine in the man. Y'all hear what I said? Somebody say amen. Not only was there a famine in the land, but there was a famine in the man. Famine in the land is when resources are low. Is when money is low. Famine in the land is when hours on the job are low. Famine in the land is when bills are high. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Famine in the land is when expenses are high. Famine in the land is when resources are low. Recession and depression. 
oppression in the land. Famine in the land is when gas prices are high. I thought I have a witness in here. Famine in the land is when grocery is high. Famine in the land is when chicken wings are high. I thought I have somebody say amen. It's one thing to have a famine in the land, but it's another thing to have a famine in the man. I thought I have somebody say amen. Famine in the man is when you are low. Famine in the land is when resources are low, but famine in the man is when you are low. When you're low on joy, when you're low on peace, when you're low on happiness, when you're low on faith, when you're low on confidence, when you're low on trust, when you're low on love, when you're low on vision, when you're low on inspiration, 